Hey. hey, good morning everybody. Greg Buckley here from Buckley's Auto Care with uh, our Ace Tech, Tony Bueno. And we've got a situation today where we have a, an, a 2008 Ford Taurus X. Now they don't make them anymore, but we have a fuel system condition that's kind of kind of tricky. So what we're going to try and do today is just explain some of the things very quickly on what we need to do as professionals to try and get down to these very, very small, very uh, uh, like needle in a haystack type problems. So I'm going to show you a couple things. I'm going to turn the camera around. Tony's going to explain it in detail and hopefully you get a sense of just what it takes to, to, to repair today's cars and even just a few year old cars. All right. So we've got the circuit here. We're trying to find out why it's dropping out very, very, very limited light. All right. So, Tony, what are we uh, what are we looking at here? Uh, well, I have the uh, I have our amp clamp hooked up to the oscilloscope, and what I'm looking for is I'm looking for uh, the waveform pattern to find out what the amperage draw what the amperage is or the current that the fuel pump's using. Uh, if there's any binding on the uh, commutator or the, the actual motor, it'll show up in the pattern. So, so let's go over here and look at the what we had. So this is basically this is live data. Uh, it's coming from the fuse uh, from the fuel pump circuit. So if you look at each one of these humps, I'm looking for any irregularities in the humps and how much uh, current the fuel pump is using. So right now it's at around seven and a half amps, which is pretty normal. Um, if the fuel pump was going bad, uh, the humps would be uh, spaced out. Uh, there would be long spaces in the humps, and the amperage would be low. Um, I mean, this pattern doesn't look bad, but I'm kind of looking at this here. That's a little bit of a concern. So I'm basically letting it run. I want the fuel pump to get hot, um, and then maybe even shut it down, let it sit, and then start it back up. But I can actually even calculate how fast the fuel pump is spinning based on uh, if I were to space it out it, with six to eight humps, and I can calculate how many RPMs the fuel pump's doing. So that'll tell me if it's dragging, anything like that, so. Okay, and just to give you an idea of where we're looking at here, let's take a look at the actual circuit, and we'll bring it down and have you kind of like hold that up mm -hmm. and see what you can see exactly kind of the, the, the circuit that we're trying to follow. And here's an indication of the components and where we have to work work at it. Uh, this is the inertia switch here. Let me see if I can find it. Mm -hmm. The inertia switch is right there. So what happens oh, in a guys. rollover situation, uh, the switch will basically shut power to the fuel pump if you look at this circuit here. So uh, basically the 12 volts goes through the inertia switch directly to the fuel pump. So in case you're into an accident, you don't want fuel, like if the fuel tank ruptures, it'll cut power to the pump. So, I mean, just in case, you know, you don't want to fire, it just right. rolls over, so. So there's a, lot, there's a lot that goes on, and we'll show you exactly where we're working at here. And I thought it was important to, to let people know just, you know, how much effort goes into trying to find problems on today's cars. So here we are in the back seat, You've got the two pumps, primary and then the lift pump, and we're checking everything out. We're scoping everything that you've just seen on uh, in our test equipment just to get to this problem on this uh, 08 RSX. So, again, just want to give you some insight. It's a little longer video than, uh, than normal, but uh, I think it's important just to show you just how technical and the type of equipment uh, and the investment in time and education that we got to go through in order to just fix what we think is just a simple fuel pump. It might not be. It could be anything from a broken wire to a pattern. That's what we're trying to discover so that we don't do something we don't need to do. That all comes down with understanding the circuit, testing and testing and testing again. Kind of like, you know, uh, measure twice, cut once. So that's what we're looking at. Greg Buckley, Buckley's Auto Care. We're here with Tony Bueno. And thanks for your time. Appreciate it. See you now.